proud of here. So I thought we have a little look at um, stacking two PCBs and um, validating the alignment. So I'm using um, KiCAD for the PCB design and um, FreeCAD for the alignment validation. And um, let's take a little bit of a look at um, what we are aligning. So let's have a look at the top board first. So here's the um, top port PCB, and this actually hasn't got any traces in, so this is like a user control panel, and um, in these larger holes we're going to put um, indicator light sleds, and in the smaller ones there's going to be a, a toggle switch. So let's just have a look at those. Okay, so let's have a little look. So these are the LEDs, and they're actually going to be encased into... Um, a um, lead holder, plastic, and um, so you have that, then you insert the lead, and then you have this packing piece, and then you bolt it on to the um, PCB. And then on the, here we have the switch, so that it'll be just pushed through the hole, and then it has these two on the bottom, and these two will be screwed onto the top, and that will hold it onto the, um, top PCB. So, okay, here's the um, bottom PCB and where you have um, the three holes, then that's where the um, switch will go and where you have the two holes that's on um, pads, then you're, that's where the LEDs are going to go. And for this to work, um, these PCBs will be sitting on top of each other with a space in between and um, the alignment needs to be correct, so let's have a look and see how we do that checking validation. Anyway, now we um, are in FreeCAD, and then the first thing you need to do, and this you only need to do once, is to actually um, use tools, add on manager. lots of here until we find something this one here CoriCAD step up workbench I've already installed it so um, about um, so you, you just um, select the install and then you install this now there is um, set, one set a few settings that need to be changed so I'll show that also but that's not here so after the installation is complete, you can go out of here, out of the add-on manager. So, okay, the settings need to be changed are in Edit, Preferences, Import, Export, and then the tab Step. So, anyway, this is the um, recommended default settings, so just make sure you have these applied, and then you can just OK it and exit. Oh, okay, so now we need to import the boards. And um, first we need to change to the correct workbench. And then you have the... I mean, there's lots and lots of tools and lots of functions. I'm just going to do the very basic example for this video. So we load a board. And um, we'll take the baseboard first. And that you do that by selecting the KiCad project for it. And then you'll get some, you know, missing model and stuff. I haven't really researched where, um, what these issues are, but they don't seem to really um, have an impact on, on the um, activity that I want to perform. So the main alignment check. And then we import the other board. And you get the same. It's mainly warnings about alignment and stuff. Okay, so now we um we have two different um, FreeCAD projects and two different PCBs loaded. And 
this of course is not very useful from the perspective of um, that you can't actually then handle them like both at the same time so what I usually do is I take the other PCB and I move it into the same project and then as you see that the problem is they're on top of each other so then what I do is I move it so that they're actually uh, not overlapping but they're just um, on top of each other so anyway let's um toggle active part I had it already selected toggle active part just to make sure that it it's bold so that's the component that is model that is selected and then we just take transform and then we see that we move it a little bit on top so now we have the two PCBs aligned on top of each other so here's just a little bit of a corner view just to show that there's a space in between and then you have the holes for the components and then the actual PCB that's under and, and what we are interested in is to do those holes align up with the places on the sub PCB and to do that we need to take a top view okay let's have a look and, um, zoom in on the um, top lever top line here let's see yeah, that looks okay stop moving the mouse uh, easier to see those look okay and then we check the second line and aha so we see this one here is not lined up correctly and um, this is very very hard to see that if you're handling the PCB separately I mean, And, and this could be that even if you tried to lay them out and stuff and then you're looking at it in, in um, KiCad you, um, you, you might actually miss, miss that you've entered the value incorrectly or just, you know, it's, it's jumped, uh, you know, if you're using a grid size then it's jumped on grid position and you, you, won't, you won't be able to notice. But here, since we have the PCBs lined up on top of each other then we, uh, we can immediately see if they are aligned and even actually create the alignment uh, I actually use this method by continuous export and checking to to get the initial alignments for the um, the baseboard and the lead and I just basically copied the dimension um, to all the rest of them but here we see that um, well, I actually created <laughs> created this mistake as an illustration. But I, I mean, it, and and this same method will work, of course, with any kind of you know, top board, bottom board alignment issue that one might have. Oh, yeah. And um, and of course, to the extension of this, that if you're doing um, uh, you know mechanical constraint um, handling, then then basically the other PCB is then a 3D model of a casing or. or box or whatever other thing that it's the PCB needs to interact with so, so this is a I thought a pretty good generic example of how to do alignment checking so anyway I hope you found this useful um, I tried to keep the example as simple and to the point as possible so yeah, if you enjoyed this video consider buying me a cup of coffee or if you're interested in merch, then merch is also available. The links are in the comments. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. And see you in the next one.